दिस इज योर फ्रेंड माई नाक फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड वेलकम ऑल फॉर बैक टू अवर चैनल एंड अनदर वीडियो ऑन टेक्लास टेक्सटाइल डिजाइनर सो फ्रेंड्स इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोट जस्टिफाई और वेरीफाई द बेसिक थम रूल ऑफ योर कॉलम ओरिएंटेशन यूजिंग द टेक्ला स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइनर सॉफ्टवेयर सो लेट लेट इज डिस्कस वॉट इज कॉलम ओरिएंटेशन यूजिंग अ वेरी प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट सो सपोज वी हैव अ पर्टिकुलर प्लॉट हियर सो सपोज दिस इज द बिल्डिंग प्लॉट लाइक दिस and we are to place four columns in the four corners of that particular building or room so now how do we place these columns now we can we know that if we provide rectangular columns there can be two types of columns let's say uh, this is the one and let's just uh, duplicate it and then we can uh, rotate this particular column let's call this two so uh, we can name this as let's say one and we can name this as two so like this we can do the naming of this uh, two particular columns so this is one this is two so now when we are to place these uh, four columns so which column will you choose so as per the basic thumb rule of this column orientation the longer face the longer face of that particular column will go along the longer span so as you can see this is the longer span here so it will be one here one here and also one here so it if it was uh, the opposite of it if uh, the particular shape of the structure was like this like this then we would go for this two orientation so here what we have done in this tecla structural designer we have tried to see whether this is actually stands true or not okay so you got the basic thumb rule of column positioning longer span of column al along the so the longer face of the column along the longer span of that particular building okay so this is a basic thumb longer face along longer span so what we we have done with let me just show you uh, we have created a particular matrix or a rectangular grid and along the rectangular grid we have made a structure at uh, the length this particular length is a uh, 7 meters and this particular length is 3 meters so this is 3 meters this is 7 meters so total is 14 meters and this is total 6 meters so like this we have created in which this span is more and this span is less so uh, by our theory of the column orientation the longer span is this one so the thickness should be the size should be 300 or a 250 into 300 that's what the size it should be what we have done is we we have uh, given assigned the complete loads on the building all the loads dead loads uh, live loads as per the actual uh, building scenario we have taken all the load loads load combination and then designed that particular building now we are going to check how the column orientation affects the structure first of all as you can see this orientation is 300 into 250 in fact all this column orientation is 300 uh, if you just check on all the columns here all the columns orientation is 300 into 250 so cast in place complete columns you can select like this if we can check all that orientation is 300 to 250 and also check the how it is it is 300 that is the more length is along this side but as per our basic rule of column positioning the more length should be on this side okay so it is on the opposite side so let's see what is the design results coming i will just uh, select any column and right click on and just go for the check member static so it's it is showing 40 16 four bars of 16 mm it is showing here and here as you can see this it is showing the second it is showing four bars of 16 mm so when the column orientation is as you can see is along this side that is along the longer span so it is showing four bars of 16 mm right and again you can just check the member so it is 40 16 so as you can see the size is 300 into 200 300 is along this side that is the longer span so now what happens if if uh, we just change this we just uh, change the orientation of the columns select the columns are selected instead of 300 into 250 what we'll do we'll just do this as 250 into 300 or else we can also select from here already i think 250 to 300 now as you can see the column orientation if you can zoom in it has become more thicker in this direction that is around the shorter span as you can see here this from here you can find out it is become more thicker in this direction and this direction is 250 this direction is 
okay so now let us see what happens so after doing this right click on that and then design selection static so after this is design just take these columns design member static as you can see six bars of 16 mm in this let's take more columns design member or check member static six bar of 16 mm here also check member static six bars of 16 mm so as you can see by changing the orientation if you, if you provide the wrong orientation the reinforcement increases which means if you provide the wrong orientation more moment or more forces will act on the columns resulting in requirement of more reinforcement so uh, in any structure while designing the column orientation plays a very vital part we have just seen from our design results here and practically proven so now next time when you uh, design any structure or place the column orientation of any structure you can think about into that and even after the design phase you can check whether you can provide more economical design or not because and as i say in my videos regularly that the ultimate aim of a structural engineer is not just to provide the same design but also economical designs here if you find if, if you this is a small building and uh, we are reducing the two reinforcement two main bars of 16 mm and uh, suppose this is a very large building of uh, 2000 square feet so then or more than 9000 square feet just imagine the difference in cost it will make in the project so as a structural engineer people hire you so that you can make safe as well as economical designs so uh, using the small tips and tricks you can become better at what you're doing so Friends, that's all for today. Uh, see you in the next video. Keep learning. Bye-bye.